All right, this is lesson 8.4. <clears throat> it is um, installment loans, monthly payment allocation. So our lesson objective is to calculate the payment to interest. So how much we pay to the interest, how much we pay towards the principal, and then our new balance. So we're going to be calculating those three things. And our vocabulary is repayment schedule. All right, so on your notes, please write repayment schedule. A repayment schedule shows the distribution of interest and principal over the life of a loan. So it tells you what your payment is going to, how much of that goes to paying the interest rate costs, and then how much goes to pay the original loan amount. Our formulas for this lesson are, of course, the interest formula, which is our principal amount, which is what we start with, that's the loan amount, times the rate, which is usually as a percentage, times the time that goes by. Do not forget, if you're making monthly payments, you have to divide the time by 12. Okay, our payment to the principal is whatever your monthly payment is minus the interest you're paying for that month. And our new principal is your previous amount that you owed minus whatever payment to the principal that we calculated. All right? If you need to, make sure that you pause the recording so that you can write these items down. All right, example one. Melinda and Javier Garza obtained a loan for a used pickup truck, the loan of $1,800 at 8% for six months. Um, in the repayment schedule, um, we need to show the calculation for the first payment, what are the interest, what's the payment to the principal, and what's the new principal after they made the first payment. So step number one is to find the interest that we pay for the first month. So that very first month, we owe $1,800 the whole month. We times it by the interest rate, which is 8%. And then remember, we divide it by 12 because we're talking monthly payments. And when we do that, we find that we have to pay an extra $12 for interest. All right, our payment to the principal is our monthly payment minus our interest. So our monthly payment was calculated um, as $307.08. So we're going to subtract out $12 from that because that goes straight to the bank. It doesn't go towards paying off your loan balance. All right, so now that leaves us $295.08 to pay towards the $1,800. So we take our $1,800, we minus out what we had to pay towards the principal. So now after the first month, we owe $1,504.92. Okay. We're going to take a moment and look at the second problem. So we're going to do this step again. Um, we're going to take our loan that the Garza's had. We're going to compute the second month value for the interest, the payment to the principal, and it's the new balance after the second month. Okay? So the interest that we're paying, we take what we owe. So we now owe $1,504.92. We multiply it by our interest rate, which is 8%. And we divide that by 12. All right, let's pull up our calculator and do that math together. Sorry. All right, so here's our calculator. So we got our 1504.92 times unit by the 8% and dividing it by 12. So now instead of the $12 in interest, we only have to pay $10 and three cents and that's the interest okay the next
next thing we have to calculate is the payment to the principal. So we have to subtract out $10.03 from our monthly payment. Our monthly payment is $307.08. We're going to minus out the ten dollars and three cents. Okay, minus ten dollars and three cents, and we get two ninety-seven This is how much goes to pay off the remaining balance of our loan. So when we go number three. We take our loan balance of 1504.92 and we minus out the $297.05. So I now owe $1,207 and 18 cents. Maybe seven cents, sorry. So each of these three items answers the one, two, and three. All right, let's look at number four here. We take out an $800 loan on a new motorcycle. It's 12% um, interest for 24 months. The monthly payment is $376.80. The balance of the loan after 15 of those payments is 322.44. What is the interest on the first payment? And what's the interest on the 16th payment? Okay. So the interest calculation is, so we're going to start with our the very first payment, we owe $8,000. We multiply it by the percentage. We divide it by how many months there are in a year. So when you do that math on your calculator, 8,000 times 12% divided by 12. So for the first month, we are charged $80 in interest. Okay, now let's look at the 16th month. So we owe $3,222.44. We're going to do the same calculation. We're going to times it by the interest rate and then divide by 12 because we're making our payments in monthly increments. So three, six, three, two, 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 point four, four times the 12% divided by 12. And we get $32 and 22 cents is our interest for that month. And that answers the question. So after the first month, we're paying $80 in interest. And after the 16th month, we're only paying $32.22 in interest. All righty. So let's go back to our notes. Um, let's look at, let's talk over um, this example too. I just hopped right into the other example too and I didn't go over it, so I'll go over this example too with you. Anton Grudenko um, got a $6,000 loan um, for 8% for 36 months. The monthly payment is $187.80. The balance of the loan after 20 payments is $2,849.08. What is the interest for the first payment and what is the interest for the 21st payment? Why is the interest so much different for the two payments? All right, so for that first 
payment, you take your original loan amount, which is 6,000, times it by the 8%, and divide it by 12. So essentially, we are paying $40 for that first month's interest. For the 21st payment, we are taking what we owe, which is $2,849.08, multiplying that by 8%, and dividing it by 12. So our interest on that 21st payment is $18.99. The reason it's so different is because at first we owe $6,000, and then um, after 20 payments, our, what we owe is less, so what the interest we're paying on it is also less. Okay. Let's roll into 8.5, paying off installment loans. So our lesson objective is going to be to compute the final payment when paying off an installment loan. Unfortunately, the final payment isn't what you owe. Um, it is what you owe plus the interest that you're um, from the current month. So let's look at that definition. Final payment is a payment on a simple interest loan that consists of the previous balance plus the current month's interest. So you gotta make sure that you're paying enough. It's really sad when you um, go to pay off a loan and you send in your final payment, do the celebration dance, and then they send you another bill for you know $18 because you didn't calculate in the interest on that payoff. All right, so our formulas are the interest formula, which you guys now should be really familiar with, the principal balance times that percentage rate times the amount of time that goes by. And if we're in increments of months, if we're making monthly payments, that's divided by 12. Our final payment is our previous balance plus the current month's interest. And then the interest saved is how much we would have um, how much we did for a total payback minus the sum of your previous payments plus your final pay payment. So this amount is whatever your monthly payment is times how many months your loan is supposed to be. And then this we can add up however many payments we've made plus whatever that final payment came out to be. And that will tell you how much you saved by paying it off early. Okay, let's look at the example problem. Um, for the first three months, here's your repayment schedule for Darlene and Hayden Grant's home repair. They took an $1,800 loan out, and that's where this balance is, and their monthly payment is $310.50, and they're paying 12% for six months. They want to know what is the final payment if they pay it off in the fourth payment. So here's their first payment, here's their second payment, here's their third payment. We're going to calculate the payoff if they pay it off in the fourth month. So we need to first calculate our interest for that month. So we owe $913.70, that's this amount here. We multiply it by the interest rate, which is 12%, and then we divide it by 12 because we're in increments of 12. When we do that, we see that we get $9.14 in interest. We're going to add that back into what we owe, so the 913.70 plus the $9.14 in interest. So our payoff amount is $922.84. All right, let's do this practice problem together. All right, so let's look at this problem together. We have an electric tutor for 12 months at 12%. Um, after the fourth payment, we have a balance of $816.04. We want to know what the final payment is going to be if we pay it off on the fifth payment. 
So we have to first find the interest. So that's our principal, it's what we owe, times the 12% divided by 12 because there's 12 months in the year. Okay, so we've got 816.04 times the 12% divided by 12. It's $8.16 is the interest. So our payoff amount is going to be what we owe plus the interest we owe for that. So that's $824.20. our notes and look at our second example problem. So how much would the grants in example one save by paying off the loan early? So we're going to add together all the amount of money that they've paid. So that's three payments. So remember, they made four payments. They made three payments at $310.50, and then plus the payoff value. We're going to subtract that amount, which happens to be $1,854.34. We're going to subtract that from how much we would have paid if we made our payments on time for the duration of the loan. So that's $310.50 times the six payments we would have made, which is $1,863. So when I subtract the $1,863 minus the money I've put in, $1,854.34, we see that we save $8.66 by paying it off early. Okay, we're going to give that a try in this next example problem. So if we had a 12 month loan of $1,200 at 12% interest for the purchase of an electric scooter for Nana, the balance after the fourth payment is $106.50. Oh, uh, so the payments are $106.56. Our balance after the fourth payment is $816.04. We want to know how much we're going to save by paying off the loan with the fifth payment. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to calculate the total of the payment. So if we paid $106.56, we were supposed to make 12 payments. So we multiply that by 12. So we would have paid $1,278.72. Okay, now we're going to calculate how much we actually paid. So we made those the first three payments. So we made those first three payments of $106.56. And we also made our final payment of $824.20. So altogether we had we ended up paying three times one oh six point five six. Plus our eight twenty four. And twenty cents. So 
we paid $1,143.88. So how much did we save is the 1278.72. My numbers getting stuck together here. 1278.72 minus 1143.88. So we end up saving $134.81. And in that case, it is definitely worth it to pay it off early. Okay. Make sure you guys pause the video if you need a little bit more time to take some notes. All right, this is our final section for this chapter. Our lesson objective is to determine the annual percentage rate of a loan using a table and a formula. Yay! I always love when we use the table. Okay, so when we're calculating a finance charge, the table has our finance charge in um, $100 increments. So we take our finance charge, divided by the amount financed, and times it by 100. Our finance charge is what we look up from the table. All right, let's take a look at how that formula plays out in our example problem. So our buddy Paul Norris obtained a $1,500 installment loan to buy a racing bicycle. The finance charge is $146.25, and he'll repay the loan in 18 monthly payments. What is the APR? So we're going to go our, um, our finance charge per 100. So this is going to tell us where we are at in the table. So we go $100 times our finance charge of 146.25 then we're going to divide it by the amount of our loan and we get 100 times 0 0.0975 so we see that it's nine dollars and 75 cents so for every 100 dollars he borrows paul will pay a nine dollar and 75 cents finance charge so in the row for 18 payments, so that's right here, the number, find the number closest to $9.75. So that look, we look, it's $9.77 is closest to $9.75. So read the top um, of the column, and we see that the APR that most closely goes with that is 12%. So by using the chart, we see 12% is our APR. Let's see if we can do that with this example problem here. Okay. All right, so we've got <clears throat> Francesca Fantarelli took a six month loan of eight hundred dollars to buy art supplies. The finance charge is twenty four forty six. So we're gonna go um, finance charge per hundred dollars is one hundred times. So we're just using our formula. One hundred times the finance charge divided by the amount financed. So our finance charge was 24.64 divided by our loan amount, which is $800. So then we go 100 times 24.64 divided by 800. And that's $3.08. Okay. 
Okay, so now we have to, because we're trying to find the APR, so we take our information six months long, which is right here, and um, we want to look for $3.08 of that's right here. So we see that our annual percentage rate is 10.50%. Easy peasy. All we have to do is look it up in my chart. All right. And that concludes our notes for 8.6. Thank you guys so much for hanging in there with me.